Tuberculosis is a serious disease that primarily affects the lungs, although it can affect other parts of the body as well. It is usually transmitted by droplets in the air. Tuberculosis bacteria can be released into the air whenever a person with active TB coughs, speaks, sneezes, or merely breathes. Some TB bacteria have become resistant to the very antibiotics that were once so effective at halting the disease. TB caused by these bacteria is known as multidrug resistant tuberculosis, or MDR-TB. For much of the 20th century, tuberculosis was a major public health concern. TB sanatoriums could be found in all major cities, and a generation of researchers worked to eradicate this highly contagious, highly debilitating, and potentially fatal disease. Their efforts paid off. Effective drug interventions were developed, and the medical community gained valuable insight into the mechanics of TB infection and transmission. The number of TB cases in the U.S. began to decline at a rapid pace. With good reason, many believed that the war against tuberculosis was over, won at last. But more recently, the incidence of TB actually showed an increase, reversing this decades-long trend. The number of reported TB cases rose considerably from 1985 to 1992. Despite the rigorous infection control standards of today's healthcare facilities, there have been documented outbreaks of tuberculosis in modern hospitals. Many workers have developed the disease during the course of such outbreaks, and a small number have even died. At a major medical center, a registered nurse cares for an undiagnosed TB patient. As a result of this exposure, she develops multidrug-resistant tuberculosis. The nurse is forced to give up her job for two years and undergoes three years of treatment, which includes the removal of half a lung. Five medical personnel are present during a three-hour autopsy. Afterward, they convert from negative to positive TB skin tests. Two of these infected workers develop active TB eight weeks after testing positive. In both of these real-life cases, TB was transmitted through the air from patient to worker. Proper use of certified respirators could have prevented these potentially life-threatening infections. As with many infectious diseases, the key to reducing the spread of tuberculosis in healthcare settings is prevention. <laughs>